Welcome. This is the update for Bevel Magic. This will be version 5. And then from here, for like 5.1, whatever. And you can change the hotkeys as usual with any of my add ons. That way, if you have any conflicts, real quick, you can just change this to Alt N. But obviously, I wouldn't do that. Go to Alt U for this one. I don't have any conflicts with that. I built in some redundancy to the add on. So now, if you don't have anything selected, it's going to say, hey, no modifier, right? And if you delete this, it's going to say, add an object and the modifier. So you don't have anything in the viewport. It's now going to show you that. And if you don't have this selected, certain features will disappear. So you don't get any errors. I've got a new mesh menu here. You jump into vertex, edge, face, right back in to object mode. So if you want to switch to these like rapidly, whatever. You can definitely do that. Very simple and then jump back into object mode. Sometimes the mouse is the best way to do that. Then you can add the 3DS bevel. This is going to be individualized in a box now. Then you're going to have a mesh menu down here where you can kind of turn this on and off and you'll see some stuff disappear because it obviously was hidden and those properties are gone. It's not selected, right? If you select it, you get more properties. You'll see modifier equals 3ds bevel 1, object equals cube 01. If I duplicate this, I'm going to say this is now cube 02, cube 01, and it'll give me different properties for each. Then down here, I'll have an individual box for each object. I can select each object as the active and then disappear one if I want and select it. So you've got quite a few uh, really good options. That's a little tricky to do this next move, but you can't add another 3DS bevel. That way the add-on doesn't get confused or you don't get errors, but you can add another bevel. And so when you add another bevel, you can switch between these however you want. Uh, but if I want to add, say, a vertex group to this, and I'm going to be using 3ds bevel 1 and add the vertex group. I've actually got a few in there. Let me clear those out from prototyping. I was just adding more. So if I add the vertex group, I can now select group. And once you've got one of those groups selected here, You'll see in the vertex area that it's there. If you just keep adding groups, then that's what you'll have. But just be aware that when you do that, the last object is selected by default. Just how display collection groups and display groups work inside of Blender. So if you are on group and trying to assign that, like you jump over to vertex and just assign. Um, if it's selected here, you're actually assigning it here. So just because that is what's selected for your modifier does not mean that's what's selected over here in the vertex. Just keep things simplified. Try to keep it down to just like one group. You can do more, but it's just more of a complex thing. So just keep it nice and simple for here. So if I've got that selected and I'm on my active modifier, click assign, and that is going to switch over to vertex. Boom. And then I'm selecting group. Boom, pops up over here. Very nice. And then I can jump back to object mode. And I can start playing around with that. Give it one segment, maybe two. Now, this other bevel is kind of interfering, right? It's giving us funky shading. I um, want to change this one to weight. And then I can jump into edge, grab the bottom edge, control E. I'll add edge bevel weight just until that's blue. Then I'm going to come over object and then we can kind of play around with how this bevel looks and it'll kind of collapse into the other one. Add a bunch of segments and shade auto smooth. I don't have a button on here, but before I upload it, I'll make sure to put a button probably in the alt U menu. So don't forget it's alt U. The old of control alt Q is just going to give you quad menu. So I don't want to interfere with that. So I switched it over to alt U and don't forget. 
You can always change the hotkey to whatever you want. And if you're savvy, you can go in the edit and preferences and you can go into your key maps and you can find things, select them, whatever you want to do and start changing them there as well in a manual way. But just so you don't have conflicts, boom, boom, that'll work nicely. And then you're changing two bevels at one time, effectively. It's almost like adding your own profile curve to it, in a manner of speaking. And if you want to go in and add more, you can. Now, like I said, any object, all the modifiers are going to show up here. And then when you jump into edit mode, some properties, some things will disappear. You go back to object mode, some things will become active. So if you jump in here, you're not going to see some certain things, but as soon as you jump back into object, you're good. So don't worry if something disappears. And that plus the level five bevel now that you can add. I don't know how many levels you really need because you can kind of just adjust them. But that plus the screen now segmented for each individual bevel and then each individual object. And that can get kind of cluttered. I'm going to work on that as well. But that'll be in the 5.1 update. But just for now, I've added nice little icons for everything so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, you can change the shading types. Everything's there pretty much. If you've got a request, feel free to. Um, hit me up in the comments below or you can if you bought the add-on go ahead and upgrade because now when you um, delete something and nothing selected you'll have some information before you didn't and if there's no object in your scene anywhere period you'll have some information here like hey my add-on doesn't work because uh, I did get some feedback on that but it was just that there was no object and so you would expect to see something per blender right so you just add your bevel mod and boom, bam, you start modifying that. And don't forget these presets are pretty, pretty snazzy. So you just go in and just have a nice preset. If you get your uh, machine tools and all that, you can still add your bevels however you wish and make it a very quick, nice process and just have the additional ability to not have to come over here and switch the profile, the geometry, the shading, the hardened normals. The offset the segments get it all just right and try to make sure that it's auto smooth and all that stuff so it's just a huge process to have to do so that's why bevel magic is good and if you already uh, went over and picked this up off of the blender market appreciate it, it supports the channel it supports you know future development and things like that so buy uh, other editing tools and new tools to create better add-ons so smash the subscribe smash the like button Appreciate everybody. See you guys in the next tutorial.